coming August 2015 I posted because um, that's when I hope to get it. It's not even like <laughs> actually Good morning ladies and gentlemen, how are you doing? Welcome to Supercars of London and the Fiat 500 again. Now, I said yesterday that I was gonna be going to London yesterday, today and tomorrow and the next day, all week. However, last night when I was with Dimitri, or Demi164, we always had the tradition that we would film the cars in the evening from about 6 p.m onwards to later than 1 1 a.m sorry however it's difficult when you don't have a car to do those late shifts and then you're traveling home at ridiculous times or even when trains don't exist i made it my number one goal today to get some sort of four wheels vehicle that i can drive into central london that isn't this car because obviously it's my girlfriend's car and she needs it so Today I am putting my neck on the line here and I've dropped my girlfriend off at work. I'm now going to be spending the entire day speaking to my whole contact list um, about how I can potentially borrow a car just for, I only need it for 24 hours um, because hopefully this Friday I have something lined up. So there's been a few people out there that I've been speaking to in the past not even that long ago in the past, maybe a month or so, that said that they could get me cars when they can't. I might try and head down to Watford Audi because I've borrowed cars from them in the past, they've been fantastic, very accommodating, and it's just, I mean, I don't even know what car I could get from Watford Audi, but I know it's gonna be cool. What's up guys, I feel like I should probably re restart the video because I just <laughs> have not vlogged and the time is now past midday. So this morning has been utter chaos and has completely ran away with me. And like I said, as I was driving my girlfriend's car to SB, I very much um, committed to trying to get a loan vehicle today so that I can head into central London over this weekend, uh, over t tonight, tomorrow, and the next day. The plan was that I was gonna drop my girlfriend off so I have the car which enables me to move around and potentially pick up a loan car. Now, then, if that doesn't happen, then I've got my girlfriend's car, I have to pick her up at five o'clock, and then probably that's my day done. Can't really go into London. However, if I do get a loan vehicle, then I can pick my girlfriend up, drop her to her car, and then drive into central London, which only takes about 45 minutes, and I can get to London in good time, but it also allows me to stay a lot later than the trains do. So, that is my dilemma at the moment. I have spent all morning on the phone, on the emails, speaking to pretty much everyone that I know, trying to work out a way in which I can make it as easy as possible for me to get into London in a car. Now, I've, I'm, I might be getting somewhere, I might be getting somewhere, but I don't want to tempt fate just yet. So, it's now like 12 o'clock, I'm starving, I didn't eat breakfast this morning, and it just all seems to be completely chaotic and I'm completely flat out at the moment, trying to write emails, and to be honest, it's really boring, so I apologize for the fact that I haven't really been vlogging. Um, you don't particularly want to sit over my shoulders with the camera whilst I'm emailing or whatever. I'm actually sitting at this desk at the moment, so hopefully Barry doesn't um, come up anytime soon. Um, but I tell you what, one thing that is really cool is Martin, who you saw um, at foot golf, who I played against foot golf and won against at foot golf. Um, he's also got the Canon S120 camera, and I was complaining about the battery life, and he was telling me that there's a trick that you can do with the lens that changes the way that the lens searches for focus. So I don't particularly know how it's coming out, but you can see here it's focusing, it's focusing. It just seems to be a lot quicker than when I had it on the other setting. So fingers crossed, this will salvage a little bit of battery life. Yesterday, I hit 999 Instagram posts on the Chrome Bugatti Veyron that I saw on Park Lane yesterday. Turn that one off. Um, so I hit 999, and obviously 1,000 Instagram posts is a huge milestone. I think 99% of the comments were your next car, because this is obviously the hot topic across Supercars of London, is what car I'm getting next. Um, 
and I think because I wanted to do it like quite cool and sleek and one not give too much information away or not give because I don't have the information yet or just at all I didn't particularly want to have like a long paragraph that everyone had to spend about five minutes reading about how a thousand a thousand posts is a really big milestone like I could do a thousand posts in like two weeks but it, I want to make sure that my content and pictures on Instagram are really high quality um, so which is why it's taken me ages to hit a thousand posts. But I, I listened to all of the comments and I was like right okay I've got to do something around my next supercar but I don't know what it is my RA still isn't for sale I haven't bought a car but I do know that I want a Lamborghini next so that was the post that I did and as you can see I've actually liked it which is um, well it's a Lamborghini, so of course I liked it. There was 182 comments and um, nearly 4,000 likes, so thank you to everyone that liked it and commented on it. But I was getting um, messages saying, like, come on, phone. I'll wait for that to go. So, as I was saying, there was lots and lots of um, comments about what car it was. People were trying to guess the car, based on this picture, trying to guess that it was a black Lamborghini. People were trying to guess what Lamborghini it was that had that logo indented into the bodywork. And really, the truth is, I just got this picture off Google. I Googled Lamborghini logo, and that came up. So I was like, that's a really cool picture. So I apologize if I've misled anyone um, on Instagram. My next car, is going to be a Lamborghini. So that is the announcement that I made on the 1,000th post. And that was it. Coming August 2015 I posted because um, that's when I hope to get it. It's not even like actually... Phones are going off. Off we go. Now, do you want to know what my pet hate is when I'm creating YouTube videos on the Supercars London YouTube channel? Static content. Content that I create when I'm not doing something, there isn't a subject, and I am basically talking to the video camera in the SB office or in the car. It is a pet hate of mine when I'm editing the video and all I'm doing is talking to the camera. There's nothing interesting going on. Slightly interesting topics today have been discussed. But overall, this has been one of the worst daily vlogs to film. And feel free to agree with me whether it's one of the worst daily vlogs to watch. Because honestly, I went out there, I went out there with, a, with a risk, basically. There was a risk taken. And this video is just going to be called Taking a Risk and Failing. I have risked my daily schedule and my girlfriend's daily schedule to try and create the best daily vlog that I could create. Getting a car, something cool, something that hasn't been filmed before on the Supercars London channel or something that I haven't driven. And also going into central London and spending the evening, the first evening and night shift in central London of supercar spotting. So I went out on the risk and I thought that I could create a really cool video. However, I have failed you ladies and gentlemen. I've not been able to get a car. I feel depressed that I'm still driving this car. It's It's got to the point now where I just don't want to film me driving anymore. The only reason why I am filming is because, like I said yesterday, it's so easy to film like that so that I can drive and no one else is having to hold the camera. I'm not vlogging in the office. It's just a different different environment for me to film. So thank you for watching and thank you for supporting Supercars Island. And thank you for watching this video. If you've got this far in the vlog, huge thumbs up to you, honestly. Um, because this is not what I intended on creating today, so I apologise. But I will see you tomorrow, and tomorrow I can assure you the vlog will be better, and definitely Friday will be better. I'm pretty sure I will have a loan car by Friday that will be fun, it will be exciting, it's not going to be a supercar, because remember, I am limited to what cars I can drive being 24 years old and it's not my second supercar. The only way that I have been able to drive high-end sports cars is on private land and 
the R8 that I owned. The R8 V10 Spider from Audi UK was to do with Goodwood. So it is going to be a cool car, it's definitely going to be quite fast and it's just going to be a lot of fun. But I'm wiped out from today and that is it. I rambled but thank you for watching, I will see you tomorrow. Let's make a better vlog tomorrow. Cheers guys. Damn. That was so fast at 30 miles an hour. Too. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> a, you got to 30 real damn quick.